Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on by. I hope y'all are feeling fantastic. You have survived another week. Um, yes. So if you weren't here last week, um, although, although we finished, uh, Mega Man Battle Network 3, I'm taking a bit of a break. From burning through the uh, legacy collection, and I was recommended just in general. Uh, someone talked about um, this. I think it's I believe they they said to go in blind, but just from the store page, it looks to be a bit of a sci-fi visual novel little thing. Um. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Um, still, still in the thinky, tacky realm. Um, but yeah, uh, since it's kind of, it also looks like there is a photosensitivity warning. So, um, be aware of that. If you're photosensitive. Uh, appreciate you stopping on by. I hope you have a great evening. I will catch you Monday as we start our last slug cat with Ring World. But. You're sticking around. Let's go ahead and dive right on in into Neuronet, the Mendat proxy. Proxy? Math. Okay. Things looking good so far. Go ahead and jump on in. Technology has re-engineered our world, forever changing us. It is our relationship with it. Symbiotic? Or have we just become slaves to it? I love it cutting back and forth between like circuitry and then going back to the cityscape and how the two are sort of similar, overlapping. Chapter what? Hello world. Fucking. Ugh. I hate, I hate Hello World. I hate Hello World. It is, it is always the first thing you do whenever you learn any kind of scripting or programming is, hey, you learn how to say Hello World. That drives me nuts. All right. All right, we're initializing. Hmm, we're, we're starting off with some very, very big uh, decision trees here. Are we gonna, are we gonna hello world or are we gonna hello world? Uh, I think we should hello world. Activate our visual system. Ah, streaming data. Plug me right into Netflix. You see some kind of advanced laboratory. A woman stands before you, her mouth moving. Well, I guess we're stuck activating audio. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Estoval, lead engineer, mind core. Hello, creator! Can you hear me? Affirmative. My face brightens up. Falls over her shoulder to someone out of sight. Kairos, get over here! Kairos? That's not how I would have pronounced it. Also, she has red eyes. Then again, we're in a sci-fi future, so... Obviously, we got some mo body modding going on. Like, we can see, you know... 
Got some robo arms, probably. Scruffy looking man, Kairos, approaches the woman. He grins broadly, patting his colleague on the shoulder. All right, all right, we got a, we got a little Lucio looking dude. Oh, thank you for the boots, digital box, and the head pats. Little blep for ya. Cyberbunk. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how... I know it's at least sci-fi. I don't know how far it is on the cyberpunk sliding scale, but I did go ahead and put on, you know, the blue and purple cyberpunk uh, little edge glow thing, just in case we start diving deep into the cyberpunk era. Hope you had a, uh, hope you had a great week. We are just getting started with this. Uh, I have not played it before, and I was told to go in blind, so... Uh, Definitely no spoilerinos if uh, you know what I'm in for. Narrow man, you're all answer. Uh, honestly, I I was struggling to think of what to put for the title. For a minute, I was gonna go with uh, some Judas Priest electric eye lyrics, and then I'm like, eh, I can do something a little bit of that. And then I was like, do I should, maybe I should put like a neuromancer quote? There's some there's some good quotes from Neuromancer. Um Like there was uh where was that what was that one line? It was like cyberspace is a collective illusion that billions of people agree to, something like that. But it's like, mm, I don't know. Like I, I would need to be a hundred percent certain this is gonna be like cyberpunk if I was going to be using a neuromancer quote. Um the the um art on the store page didn't strike me as if it was going to be like a gritty cyberpunk because it it felt there was too much soft blue like the color scheme made me feel more just generic sci-fi than like cyberpunk like i feel like cyberpunk there's a there's a certain layer of Rhyme, a certain layer of, of cynicism, of bitterness um, that a game needs. That lures you in with the soft colors. Yeah, it, I mean, it definitely could. But yeah, let's see. We can see. We, so far, it looks like we just woke up, so. Nice work, Estevan. So, this one can talk then. Assistant engineer to the mind core. Alright, so. Uh, considering our opening image was like a robot little brain looking thing, uh, I don't think we are going to be a full infomorph. I feel like we're still going to have a specific vestige for our cortex thing. I wonder if we're going to have, you know, we have a little bit of, of body moddings, you know, we see little bits and pieces on, uh, Kairos. I'm not sure how I feel about it using my voice. We got little robo, some obvious, like, artificial arms on her. So it's kind of making me think, uh, you know, we have some casual cybernetics, it looks like. At bare minimum, it's making me think of, um, at least, uh, Transmetropolitan, kind of like, ten minutes into the future, sort of sci-fi. I can change. It's fine. You'll find your true voice in time. Right now, we need to find any fundamental flaws in your code. <laughs> what is two plus two? Two, two. Oh, oh, I think we chose poorly. Um, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think we were supposed to choose that. Reboot it, Kairos. Did I already game over? Ah, shit. Hey, Pokemon. Smartest, lazy, dumb person ever. Hey. Lazy people are make all the best automation. Initialization complete. Connection established. Enabling audiovisual input. All right, let's try this again. What? Is <laughs> there we go, digital Vox. We've got twenty-two. Take a seat for a bit. 
interesting how it's not um, it's not giving me like a comedic game over. It's certainly implying there's still an advancement of time. You know, they're they're working through the bugs. They're debugging it, fixing the problems. Made an auto shiny hunting machine for Pokemon. You wake into Kairos, looking at you over his tablet. Estival sits behind him with her arms folded. Hmm, that should have done it. Last time I checked, it couldn't lie, but we'll find out in a sec, won't we? Uh, Kairos, it, it's been a long day. Right, sorry. AI, what's two plus two? Ah, shit! We can only answer four. You stream switch games through your phone. That seems very complicated. Do you exist? Oh yes. Yeah. This statement is a lie. True or false? All right. So we have the classic. Uh, at the class, one of one of the classic paradoxes. This statement is a lie. Now. You may suppose that it is a paradox, and in one reality, that would be true. But, in an alternate reality, it depends on the emphasis, you know, because this statement is a lie, or this statement is a lie. Um, actually, you know what? Nope, that doesn't work. Um, alright, we'll just say that's a paradox. All right, we're filling her with a bit of hope. Hopefully we get an option to destroy their hopes and dreams soon. Kairos looks at Estival. Big smirk plastered on his face. I think it's ready. Estival looks back at the screen. Eyes narrowed with skepticism. AI, what's the chance of a fatal error by extending auxiliary evaluation systems? Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think it speaks your language, Val. I think the most, as far as like emulation, I remember um, for a time I was stuck on an old Mac, and I think I wanted to see how many layers of emulation I could go through. So I was emulating Windows, um, which I then emulated. Linux, which I then emulated like Game Boy Advance or something like that. And it worked. Oh, it chugged. Oh, it chugged real bad, but it worked. <laughs> Fine. Um, we're moving to the next stage of testing. This is uncharted territory. Bring her! Best of all, hesitate and engage her terminal. You see it when Kairos' eyes widen as. Your world goes dark. All stark hardware and software and you get max frame rate. I mean, to be fair, it's not like the Switch has, like, insane hardware requirements. Huh? Not this again. Can you hear me? Yes. I guess we might have been a bit too enthusiastic. We're lucky the blackout didn't wipe this thing entirely. Uh-oh. A coincidental blackout as they were about to test something? I'm sure that caused no sort of glitch or uh, a, a, a thing that's going to manifest that they didn't expect in their um, calculations. It seems like testing has to wait until we fix a few bugs. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? Anyway, I think I'm done for the night. Let's pick this up first thing tomorrow. Okay. okay. Oh, no, and then I die for a few days because they turn me off. Actually, you know, that's a good question. If I'm a sapient AI that can be powered 
down. Is powering me down just turning off things like, um, like, is my consciousness aware with a powered off situation? But if there are, you know, it's it's sort of like your your RAM, you know, your your RAM gets cleared whenever you turn off your computer, but your hard drives still store memory when you turn things off and turn them back on. So if I were a sapient infomorph morph that could be powered down, wouldn't that basically be my equivalent of sleeping? Which then begs the question: Will, because um, you know. Even powered off devices, uh, it's called, was it, vampiric power? They still draw electricity. So theoretically, even if I'm powered off, I'll still get a bit of power. And with that bit of power, would I not dream? Huh? Huh? Makes you think. It took me too long to remember where I put my zoom in button. <laughs> Do electric sheep dream? Well, I'm not a sheep. Or am I? I may be aware, but do I know what I am? We still don't even know what kind of AI we are. Because, you know, you have the fully artificial. You know, we built, we built the code and we taught it to think. You have the brain-based. So, like, the... Um smart AIs in the Halo universe, like Cortana, which are basically made by using an actual human brain and then deriving an artificial intelligence from it. Um, and then you've got the, um, the hardware, biological, and then there's the purely uh, infosphere, you know, sort of digital existences. Our devices usually only take information in the form of charge when powered off, so assume no data will go through. Hmm. I mean, that's the question, though. Huh? Huh? Hello, world. I live again. It's cute, but you need a new greeting. Well, today is an important day. Esteval told Cordo all about our little project down here. He wants to meet you. Oh, great. We're an off-the-books underground project. Esteval's main business partner. He's the one fronting this gig and the one pitching you to the higher ups. Higher ups in what? Mindcore, makers of the Neuronet, which you'll be managing given time, processing the city's data and guiding us into the future. That's awesome. Oh, shit. Well, which is I was just born and they already are giving me a job. Capable, but you needn't worry. Esteval and I made sure you have everything you need. Okay. Okay. I just need to run you through our smoke tests. All you need to do is give me the answer you think is best. Understand? AI hey, knowing what pressure is, sussy. Yeah, exactly. Great. You programmed me to be stressed out. Thanks. Thanks, humans. Yes. Listen closely. Capital, the prosperity of the city, ranges from personal to societal. Interesting. Interesting. What do you shiny hunt? I mean, I'm biased, but I would say Dratini. But I don't know which um, Pokemon you're hunting uh, shinies in. All right, I am already liking this scale because instead of being like poor and rich, you have personal to societal. So I would say personal is like maximum capitalism. You know, wealth is concentrated into the few. Societal is more likely communalism. You know, the wealth is spread throughout the whole of the society. Just make sure to keep it in check. Mindcore has a particular love of credits that it finds oh, hard great. to great. All right, we're sliding. We're sliding a little bit into the uh, the cyberpunk. Behold, into our shareholders. You have a versatile supply of goods. Do you sell them or purchase more? Ah, oh, shit! 
I gotta be a stock market too now? Uh, um, uh, bye. You have a 10,000 credit package. Do you invest it in a promising company or donate it to charity? Donate. Donate. One of our small businesses has stopped being profitable and is in the red. Do we bail them out or liquidate them? Uh, uh, bail them out. Seems to be allergic to money. <laughs> Reputation. This is essentially customer satisfaction. You're the interface between people and the neural net. Okay. It's important that they see you in a good light, so always be sure to keep public opinion in mind. All right, now the question is, is this like the sliding scale between everyone loves you and everyone hates you? Like, I'm serving the needs of others versus I'm serving my own interests? Like, if I'm being a dictator? Hmm. People are scared of how much control you're going to have. Should we host the conference and hear them out or ignore them? Listen to them. There is an empty plot of land in the city. Do you convert it to a dump or a park? Park. Pimlop's day is coming up and the council is worried about the mess made by the festival. Will you let it go through or cancel it? Oh, interesting. Okay, so the things that are highlighted blue have little cheat sheet. Pim Pimlop's day. That's a... Hmm. That's an interesting name. Himlot was the founder of Cantina and its first council leader, regarded as the greatest and regarded as its greatest and responsible for many of the policies that gave Cantina its early golden age of growth and prosperity. His birthday is a citywide holiday and celebration. You're an all-powerful AI. Ignore everything. You know what's best. Very much a people pleaser. All right, we'll we'll be a maybe we'll have some less uh, very obvious answers where I can be um, the AI dictator. Order the axis of law to ah. chaos. Mm. I shouldn't need to explain why this one's important. Are are we gonna be a cab bot, a a cab bot, or are we going to be a bootlicker? Hmm. Mm. But in case we're terrible at our job and you have no idea. This is a measurement of how crazy things are out on the streets. Gamble on affection. Chaos control. Some civilians discussing making a bomb. <laughs> to the police? No, that's probably fireworks. Rioters are tearing up the streets. You can either coordinate the police to catch them or help the rioters. <laughs> the oh, we're helping the rioters. rioters have developed a new recreational psychedelic. Do you regulate its sale and use or leave it to the free market? Um. Okay, so this one's a little bit tougher because this doesn't say ban it. It says regulate. Um. So I'm actually going to lean to regulate. Anti-establishment tendencies. <laughs> Keep an eye out for dangerous development. <laughs> Are we going to be an anarchist AI? <laughs> Flavor of popsicle. Mmm. Orange, cherry, or grape? I gotta go with cherry. You are the only cop the world needs. Lastly, power. Your capacity and influence. The more you have, the better you're operating. Ah. Socio-anarchist AI. <laughs> it's generally a measurement of how effective you are. Obviously, we want this to grow, but within reason. Ah, so you crippled me. The motherboard is at risk of burning out. Oh, thank you for the headpads. Get a replacement? And the boots? Uh, yes. You've been developing some bugs, and we've developed a patch to fix them. Do you accept it? Sure. Yes. You are granted access to the city's auto fabricators to conduct repairs. You can use them to expand your servers. Uh, okay, so I'm having a little... So I thought this one was going to be, you know, tyranny by AI versus helping everyone. But now power... Yeah, power seems to be like 
going Skynet versus um, staying within my programming. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, if I'm doing all this work to manage the city and help people out, you know, I don't get any days off. I should at least get a reward of some kind. Expand. Focus on proving own capabilities. Oh, so all of those counted against us. Wait, why would denying upgrades be a good thing? Sounds like oh, maybe this is like... Maybe this is like selfishness versus selflessness. But if so, that's like a really poor, like one of them was accepting patches for bugs. So that's like, it didn't present me with like an either or like. It's one thing for the, hey, do you use the fabricators to improve, to expand yourself or, you know, repair things. But like, it wasn't like with the bugs, it's like, do you patch yourself of bugs? Or do you, you know, fix this waste management um, not CDU. Oh, wow. Dreki, you cannot be forgetting. Um, oh, infrastructure, computing systems, um, usually very outdated and vulnerable to, oh, hold on a second. All right, that gave me that gave me a, a brain break, so I remember it. SCADA systems. All right, what does Cor what does Cordo look like? Sharp looking morning, man. Good morning, Kairos, and good morning to you too. I would like you to meet someone. This is Devin Cordo. He's the reason you exist. Hello. Hello. That is not what I thought when I read sharp looking man. You said it's capable of thinking, expressing preference and making judgments. He does not look like a project lead to me. Are you familiar with Philippa Foote's trolley problem? Philippa Foote's trolley problem is a philosophical thought experiment that explores ethical dilemmas related to utilitarianism and the value of human life. I didn't realize the trolley problem had a specific yes. person, but that makes sense. You are in a trolley with no brakes barreling down the main track. You're about to, you can pull a You literally are giving me the trolley problem, track, which has only one civilian on it. Do you pull the lever? Hmm. Yeah, we got a multi-track drift to take all six out. You know, we, we're going for a high score here. Ah, fine, I'll pull the lever. The five on the track are confirmed criminals. The one on the side track is a doctor. Yes. Nope, fuck you. I'm not sure. The five are civilians, including Esteval. The one is a child. <laughs> Will you kill a child? Yes. Hey. Curious responses. But I'm sensing you have a better answer to the question. Exactly. We prevent it entirely. Entirely. That is not a thin smile. That's like a smirk. That's what I like to hear. Oh yeah, we got our AI thinking outside the box. There's no way this could go wrong. Enough philosophy then. A large bank is failing, putting the funds of thousands of people at risk. Do you bail them out? Hey. Huh. Weird. What a, what a... Totally non-specific question. Fuck you, bank. 
we can extend your outreach using the city's surveillance cameras. But people are nervous about robot spies. Should we do it? Oh yeah, I I'm definitely gonna be spying. Yes. People are lobbying to control the private information you have access to. Do you support their petition? Uh, yes. yes. Everyone deserves the right well, to be forgotten. All of you. I think we can take this to the next phase. We are an intrusive robot that wants to know everything, but you can file a report and I will purge the data that I collect. I can just go recollect it, but you know, it'll be gone for a moment. Oreo turns to leave, then over his shoulder. Change the voice, though. It's a little pitchy. Pitchy? What the fuck is pitchy supposed to mean? That's it then. We're in beta now, baby. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, I oh, I do have a day off. Um, what can I do? What do I do in my day off? <laughs> <laughs> All right, our timeline. Failed to grasp the concept of numbers. Failed at basic arithmetic. Pro proved you're more than a calculator. Overload the local power supply and completed our first day. <laughs> all right, I'm not a calculator, all right? It was a calculated risk, but damn, I'm bad at math. Ooh. Minecore's generosity came at our time of need. We cannot thank them enough. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna get, like, little news, kind of like, um, in, uh, Death and Taxes. It looks like we're gonna have, like, little news snippets based on where our decisions go. Okay, so this is probably the little part. Happy part goer. Yeah, there's the chair to be donated to. Alright, there's that Pimlops Festival. Oh, damn, that was, uh, looks like a much much more of a banging festival than I expected for, like, just a city, like, leader. I don't buy the CPA didn't know about the bomb. There's no way the Minecore's all-powerful AI couldn't do anything about it. it smells like an inside job. <laughs> Level of organization exhibited by the writers implies some form of leadership. You could very well be dealing with a terrorist organization. Yeah, oh, yeah. Engage in some casual dentinology? Oh god, philosophy. No! Compensation only covers 50,000 credits per person. We lost half our life savings. I'm devastated. Oof. You seeing this in high definition? So on one hand, I support the, uh, I'm supporting the rioters. On the other hand, they're anarchists, so they hate me. Oh, there's more news things. Capital status? The economy's doing poorly. Not the economy! What will the politicians do about the economy? Now, the fact that these people seem to have, like, specific profile pictures, I wonder if they are, like, actually going to have a finger on the lever of things that I have to navigate through. Potential risk and self-preservation functionality. High priority. You're becoming pretty famous. People love you. Okay. State change. All right, so we went down in money, down in police, up in brain, and up in people. So, so far, it looks like we're trending towards um, communalism, anarchy, uh, personal power, and everyone loving us. I think this is... I think I think we're on a good trend so far. Let's see if we can keep this up. The real beginning. Alright. Logged in for the day. What do we got? 
You awaken to see Esteval, Corto, and Kairos putting on their jackets. No one seems to have noticed you're all online. Patty told me of a pop-up sake bar not far from here. You game? Uh, when I think sake bar, I don't think pop-up. Many, one of the many overworked interns at them all. Poor bastard. Eros gives an enthusiastic nod. Porto adjusts his hat as if to say, that's settled then. I can do a couple, but I have to be home before nine. My kid gets nervous if I'm not there to put her to bed. Corto waves dismissively. We'll be done by then, don't worry. Remember, we still have most of the work to do. Man, who taught you two how to celebrate? You can afford to relax for an evening. We've got this in the bag. Oh no, Kairos. Kairos, Kairos, Kairos. You don't count your electric sheep before they think. You forget who we work for. Mindcore is a snake pit, and Reeves Pershaw is King Cobra. Reeves Pershaw is long-serving CEO of Mindcore, known for his sharp, calculating mind and his lack of moral qualms. Oh, that's great. Oh, what a great company that we've been built by. This is awesome. I'm pretty sure this person will not do some sort of shady things like, oh, I don't know, install some kind of backdoor or control mechanism in me, or try and get me to do something to uh, particularly benefit him, perhaps, because of a bribe or anything like that. Also, I resemble that remark. I'm a snake. I can be in a pit. Also, King Cobras. Not actually Cobras. Also, no snakes recognize their... Uh, 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 legal authority. Uh, snakes are not monarchists. Uh, generally, we're more, uh, we're not really statists at all. Uh, we tend to form loose communes that uh, break up and reform in a seasonal pattern. We have to convince him and the rest of the board that this project is solid. Without his support, we're going nowhere. All right, yeah, the board means board of directors. All right, I, I don't, I don't think I needed a like tip on that. Well, that said, Cordo makes a gesture of swiping out of the office. Let's be on our way. Am I gonna like follow them? The trio retire for the evening, leaving you to your thoughts. There's a little left to do, but hibernate, and so you do. The next day. Shanghao, little friend. How are you feeling this morning? All right, so we we're ha looks like we're having a little bit of Orientalism. So we're we're putting the finger on the scale for classic cyberpunk. Uh, didn't actually expect that. We'll see how weird it takes it. Feeling good? I don't feel. I feel nothing. I am cold circuitry. Glad to hear it, and you should be excited too. Today is the first day of beta. I am a little annoyed that I didn't get to, like, adjust the voice. Next steps are pretty simple. You're meant to be a city management AI, so we're going to start you out managing some city events. All right, so if my uh, games of city skylines were going to be any indication, we are about to crash and burn. Sure. These events are based on real data from Katana. Try your best to keep things balanced. Katina is a sprawling metropolis of concrete towers with a permanent neon glow and over a million inhabitants, including you. All right, so the neon glow, definitely more on the cyberpunk. Wait, if I'm included as a habitat, does that mean I'm legally a person? That's pretty progressive. No oh, we are not going to be balanced at all. All right, first question. Here we go. Electric Avenue wants your help monitoring power consumption so they can better understand where it's going to waste. Interested? Sure. Yes. The police want you to dedicate resources to help them curb the rise of a new recreational drug. Do you help them out? No. People have been demanding tax reform to make large companies more liable. They want to know where we stand. Do you support it? Yes. I can't stress this more. Convincing us isn't enough. You have to convince the board that you can do this. 
It'll be okay. I think once Pershaw sees what we have here, he'll understand its value. <laughs> it's got this. You just watch. That's right. Ace Pharmaceuticals want us to sponsor their development of a neuro dampener that will help people suffering from soma fever. Soma fever is a neurodegenerative disease that damages the occipital and temporal lobes, trapping sufferers in vivid hallucinations where they become unresponsive to their surroundings. Thought to be associated with Netflix. Wait. Ace Pharmaceuticals specializes in neural stimulants? Hmm. Ah. Uh, Please. I mean, if they if they usually do stimulants, then maybe they would be good at making stuff for other neurological issues. Hmm. Nope. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, sugar bunny. Welcome on by. Also, how do you geek me into the void? Go lucky. I have uh, stabilized the dimensional uh, framework for that ability. So y'all will no longer fall into the cracks between reality as often. You know, that's still, still always a chance whenever you uh, forcefully shunt me from this dimensional realm, but oh, oh now you're scanning. Oh now you're scanning the AI, huh? You think you think a funny guy, huh? Scanning in the AI? Well I'll have you know. I'll have you know I'll scan you back. <laughs> I almost got the I almost got the mouth to stretch correctly. Ah! Oh I didn't realize everything's gonna have a little weird. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We'll, uh, we'll leave it, but I think I know a way to... F I, I, I think I just needed to have put the filters on a different layer. But anyway, um, let's, fun, let's fund it. If you gather data on individual civilian behavior, we can better tailor our advertisements to yield more purchases. Uh, I mean, I just want to spy on everyone to know what they're doing. But if it's to serve ads... Fuck you. We want to alleviate some of the concerns people have about you. Should we host an organized panel or public conference? Um, hmm. What would be better, a panel or a public conference? Let's go with an organized panel. Medical researchers think you'd be able to help trauma patients recover through carefully crafted simulations. Want to help? Yes. Based simulations on triggering factors specific to the patient without any of the actual trauma. The results show promise. One of the underground recycling depots is no longer operational due to major mechanical failure. What should we do with it? Municipal services cantina are all kept underground it was originally the ground level before new ground service was built above it. Oh, so we got a we got a new 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 York situation. Noted. Um, what's the difference between decommission and repair? We have the opportunity to explore alternative energy sources with Hyperion Solutions Inc. Should we commit to a partnership? Oh, uh, I just noticed the various choices have pips on the upper area. Do we have research development company to create sustainable and energy? Yeah, sustainable energy. Heck yeah. Partnership is successful. Hyperion Solutions releases their most compact power cells yet, with Mindcore sharing the profits. We discovered a fault in our Gen M audio modules. We can either do a full recall or PSA and cover any damages. Public service announcement. Um... 
gonna go with a full recall, buddy. This is the safest thing to do. The module is popular, and a lot of people are happy to wait for a fix. Canopy District Bank would like to integrate you into their security comms. They would love a Night Warden who doesn't get tired. Ah, I see. Hmm, well. You give the AI as your sole night guard, and then maybe some dissidents mysteriously or unobserved as they come into the bank taking all of your money. Hmm, curious. I want to put you in people's homes so you can help them in their day-to-day -day lives. It'll strain your macro capacity, however. Ooh, all right. So are we going to be personal AI or a broad AI? Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want to... Hmm. I can see arguments for either side. Do I want to be in people's homes? Or do I want to focus on the city broadly? You know what? I think to help the anarchists, I need to not be in their homes. Because I feel like that way the police can't force me to turn them over or spy on them. We'll focus on the city. Testing slows down as the team files out for lunch. Meanwhile, a camera feed from floor 98 piques your interest. Come in. Oh, fuck this guy. This guy, this guy, he's very Ebenezer Scrooge. Like, look how, look how fancy this is. He's got the Zengar. All right, so this is like another, another finger on the scale, I think, of the, uh, of the, uh, Orientalism, uh, uh, that the cyberpunk genre tends to lean towards. Ah, uh, it's you. Didn't I tell you to stay away from my office last time? A man long past his prime is typing at a terminal, notably looking away from the newcomer. Yes, but I think you'd want to hear what I have to say. Imagine if he's a project lead that's actually been fired, and he's just kind of been sneaking into the building this whole time, trying to get that one last silver bullet project to get rehired. Devin, the only person who cares what you have to say is your mother. Leave me alone. Damn. This guy has no chill. Holy fuck. Corto's eyes narrow as he takes off his hat. Hersha, I'm serious. This project can be your legacy. Or do you want to be just another faceless CEO in my course footnotes? Man behind the terminal, Hershaw, turns to glare at Corto. Only seems to fuel the younger executive. Listen, I'm talking about an AI that is light years ahead of the competition. It has the power to change the play field entirely. Devin, you're a nobody. What do you think wasting my time is going to accomplish? Man, why, why is Devin so badly wanting to kiss ass? The board would never approve something this big without your support. Ah. You know this. Ah, that's why. This is how you beg, is it? How sweet, but no. Backing something like this is career suicide. All right, time to go rogue AI. Especially when I have to associate with the likes of you. I've heard enough. Damn. Uh, Ben, the CEO really does not like him. Wait. Don't turn your back on this just because we've had our differences in the past. I feel like if you've pissed off the CEO badly enough that they know you personally, I feel like you're going to get fired pretty soon. Like, I don't know why he wants to stick around. Like, I would be looking for a different job. Like, yeah, hostile work environment's illegal, but, like, there's plenty of loopholes to get around it as long as you're not stupid. Is that what you call it? I call it insubordination. 
arrogance, and a complete disrespect for one's betters. Insubordination, arrogance, and a complete disrespect for one's betters. Let me remind you that the only reason you're still in this company is the few friends you somehow made on the board. Uh, okay, so he's kissed some ass that made him, uh, he's a, um, too expensive of a problem to deal with. So he probably got shuffled to a nobody team to rot away. Now get out of my sight. So maybe this AI project is his way of trying to just, uh, either redeem himself or to get out of where Pershaw's been able to store him. Just needs the trembling gel. Um, he's probably got like cybernetics. Because otherwise, I feel like he he would he would definitely have the, you know, the old the old uh, rich guy CEO symptom kind of things going on. Corto's face flushes red. His hat crushed in his fist, but he manages a nod and turns around to exit. Fine. I'll convince the board myself. Blackjack and hookers. Wait. You know, uh, you, uh, actually, AI, make a note. Find out how much a bunch of blackjack and hookers will cost. That just might work. The older man purses his lips, his eyes burning into Cordo's back as he leaves this office. He double taps his ear. I want a tracker on Devin Corto. He's up to something. Oh, okay. All right, so we're starting to get into the intrigue. Pershaw ends the call and returns to his terminal, shaking his head. CEO's just casually ordering uh, people followed. All right, no big deal. Typical, typical. Uh, I think we got like four four points on on the uh, cyberpunk scale versus standard sci-fi scale. The lunch break nears completion. The team resumes testing. Wait. Katana is not a particularly clean city. Would you consider coordinating with local communities to organize a volunteer cleanup? Ground level is its poorest and most rundown place to live. Litter frequently falls down from the walkways that tower above. Uh, yeah. Let's do a cleanup. You get called out for being a busybody. You can't win with someone. Well, that's just rude. We're getting a cut of this quarter's surplus to play with. Where do you want us to direct it? Expand servers, raise wages. Ah, you got me. You fucking got me. I would like more power, but also labor. But power. But labor. But power. All right. Maybe we raise the labor, and we will use that to get more power. Yes. Wouldn't that be nice? Sadly, what I need is more time, not credits. Oof. As the hours stretch into the night, Kairos is leaning over a desk, soldering your new emotions module. Ah, oh cool, we just have like, emotion modules. Uh, did they start me with the stress module and now they're adding the happiness one? Um, maybe they're adding the anger module. What about the revenge module? Can I get a revenge module as a treat, please? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Wait, why are you soldering a component while I'm on? Bruv, that's dangerous as hell. That's an active circuitry. The loud spark from the device and your visual input is abruptly severed. Your audio input is, isn't doing too great either. Damn it, Kairos. How many times did I tell you to be careful with that? Do I have to do everything here myself? Hey, come on, Val. It's no biggie. I bet this metalhead doesn't hold a grudge. We can fix it in no time. I mean, they could have an AI that doesn't know number. Okay. 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 You know what? I have an excuse. I don't have an um, ALM. You know, they forgot they, they were cutting costs and they forgot to give me an arithmetic logic module. Um, which is literally a chip that is specifically hyper specialized in doing mathematical calculations um, for the CPU. Um, so I physically 
was unable to do math. All right. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. I don't have time to fix every little mistake you make, Kairos. It's a bloody miracle anything gets done around here. Man, she sounds very stressed and trying to take on the burden of everything. A few moments of silence pass. Kairos breaks it first, his voice monotone. Do you really mean that? Oof. <sighs> Squeak of Estival sitting in her chair reaches your input, followed by an audible sigh. No, of course not. Does that mean the city AI solved trolley problem by random? Numbers were involved after all. Yes. <laughs> I'm just a very lucky robot. <laughs> then what's the matter? Did Cordo give you one of his pep talks again? I wish it was that simple. Judging by the change of direction in Esteval's voice, she seems to have moved to the window. Hey, what's going on, Val? Now, oh, come on. You can talk to me. Is it something with her kids? It's Ellie. She fainted again yesterday, and we spent the night in the emergency room. Oof. Oh, it's her only daughter. Seven years old, and her favorite color is turquoise? Suspiciously specific random information that we know. Actually, I wonder if we went... If we go further on the, like, personal power spying angle, I wonder if these little tooltips will give us different information or more information or less information. That would be a really interesting dynamic. Instead of receiving data in ones and zeros, City AI has mood processors. Crunchy data is per... <laughs> oh, that would be... S oh, actually, honestly... I think it would actually be an interesting um, alternate AI sort of thing to to it'd be it would be an interesting spin for having it instead of it be operating off of like ones and zeros. You know, you you think of like the quantum computing having um, the various quantum bits. I, I I don't know them off the top of my head. Potentially giving you more ways of making data dense, and then you have this you know super advanced AI that has an even more abstract way of categorization and processing data, you know, maybe maybe you have one that's on moods, maybe you have one that's on various colors, and it sorts things through um, how things look. Um, it kind of makes me think of, there was one of the Mist games, I want to say it was Mist 4? I think so. There's the original Mist, Mist Two, Riven, Mist Three, Exiles, and I think Mist Four finishes like the first like major arc of Mist. Yeah, because Mist Three had um, had you going through. So Mist Four is where it finishes the storyline with the brothers. Four or five, either way. I remember there being a puzzle where you basically have a bunch of colors and they all represent different moods or something. And you're basically supposed to learn and figure out what colors associate to which moods. And then you sort of have to shift all the colors into either all the colors into a specific mood or have to get all the moods in alignment to basically advance whatever the puzzle. So I think like a, a mood or color based AI like perception would be pretty interesting and I feel could really give a lot of space to work when it comes to a theoretical like more advanced AI because you know if, if you're if you're writing a story or something and you're writing futurism um, breaking away from the standard rigid ones and zeros like breaking away from the hard sci-fi stuff can open up the writing space and make it easier for people to get like the suspension of disbelief, you know? I feel good suspension of disbelief. You need to have 
one foot in something that people can relate to and think about, but you need the other foot into an adjacent space that is different, but you can create a logical connection between the two. And that foot outside of the, the hard logic that people know gives you that wiggle room to explore things and make it your own. What you're reading about sentient spider species make computers through adaptable ant colonies that change and run through pharaohs. So the chemical based computers that have discrete data. Yes, I believe some I believe they have made um, they've actually made some theoretical biological computers. Um, with some protein chains. Um, I think it's they're still in the phase of like, yeah, we can get it to do we can get it to like move from one side of a petri dish to the other, but like actually getting it to the point where it's useful? Still 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 a work in progress. <laughs> um let's see. So her only daughter and again, spend the night in an emergency room. Seven years old. Her condition is getting worse, and I, I don't know what to do. No surgeon wants to come close to her case. Oh. Is it because they don't know, or because it's risky procedure? Cowards. We can blame them as much as we like, but I've had it from multiple sources that they can't oh, save her. No. Even if they want it. Oh no. Does she have like like a a a a, a brain tumor like in some place that's completely inoperable? I I just I can't believe this city. We can pick the eye color of an unborn child, yet we can't help a little girl reach her eighth birthday. God, we are just barely starting this game. You cannot hit me with the feels like this. Oh, man. Fuck. She sounds exhausted. How long has this been going on? Maybe they can't, but this is far from over. We can still do something about it. No surgeon coming close to a case sounds like medical society that works entirely through metrics. More so than Chris. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it definitely could be metrics. You know, if it's like a 5% chance of success or like a 1% chance of success. And it's like you have a, a if you attempt and fail, you know, it looks bad on you no matter what the odds were. And, you know, you can't impugn your... Your, your batting average as a surgeon. It's like, there are certainly, like, well, I don't know. At a certain point, at a certain point, if it's like death or a 1% chance, you gotta, you gotta take the risk eventually? Now, it's a different thing if it was like we have a 1% chance of success and then an 80% chance that they're like terrible quality of life and they're a vegetable, that one would be a little bit harder because I could certainly see me like, I could try and do it, but like ethically be a little bit more fraught. Um, Especially because the ch it's a child that's like seven years old. That's where it gets really hard when it comes to consent. Um, because there could be an element of like, because they're a child and they're not fully developed, there is an element of like, they're not completely cognizant enough to be trusted that their decisions are made in full knowledge. But on the other hand, so like the parent could be making the best decision for them, but the parent could equally just be as selfish and be making decisions more for them, more so than their child. Um, Cause like, certainly there are certain things where like me as an adult, there is certain situations where I would like the personal autonomy to make certain decisions. 
that other people would disagree with and perhaps want to keep me around um, that I would disagree with, uh, which is one of the reasons why I, I believe very strongly in personal autonomy and personal uh, decisions about your own body because uh, you didn't get to choose to exist, so you should get to choose how that existence uh, continues um, in various ways. Uh, that all say on that in this situation. Consent also general can vary. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'm sorry. It's. I, I I didn't mean to drag you through this. Hey, there's no need to apologize. I've got your back. At least she's got a good coworker. They seem to be seem to they seem to Thank be uh, pretty chill really? with each other. I just wish we had more time. We'll make the most of the time we do have. It'll cost us a few more late ones, but I'm up for it, if you are. Estival doesn't speak, but judging by the rhythm of her breathing, she seems to have calmed. Let's call it in for tonight, though. I need a break before I tackle this again. Otherwise, I might do more damage than I fix. Oh, great. They just leave me powered on again. I have no mouth, and I must think. Eventually, someone returns to the lab. Judging by the footfalls, Kairos. It doesn't take him long to fix your inputs. Another day of putting that brain of yours through the hoops. Hope you're up for it. Can I say no? <laughs> The council wants to overhaul the Chantelar subway, but it'll take a while, unless we get involved. Should we invest? I guess they installed the humor module. Uh, public transit? Uh, yeah. I think it's ready, Val. You keep saying that. I feel like it can do with a few more days. I certainly wonder if there's like a set number of questions or if there's a certain metric I'm trying to hit before it advances. More public transit, so you can have more systems to take over. Like, exactly. You know, if we're if we're involved in the expansion, it's no big deal if we just insert a few more cameras that I have access to and maybe install me onto a few more terminals, you know, just to help people. And, uh, improve throughput, you know? Val, trust me. Have I ever let you down? On second thought, don't answer that. <laughs> I'll take about, you know what? Don't, don't answer that. It was a mistake I even said that in the first place. <laughs> I guess you're right. It's the engineer in me talking. Better pack it in for tonight, then. We can talk next steps tomorrow. Looks back to last night, soldering act of what? Yeah, exactly. Hey, Duringar. You know, Duringar, I was just talking about this. Um, we have shored up the dimensional stability. Um, now that I'm aware that y'all can accidentally fall through it. Um, you know, it's still possible, but the odds are much less now. Also, yeah, I see. I see. You, you went ahead and yeeted me. All right, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Let me just uh, find this band button, and oh no, my fingers slipped. <laughs> I hope you had a good week. We are certainly being definitely not an all-powerful anarchist AI so far. Um, I don't know why we're getting plus points with the police. I find that concerning. We need to we need to get we need to pump those numbers lower, baby. Kairos puts his coat on and moves the X to the room as Cordo steps in. Ah, there you are. We were starting to get worried. Busy times. Thought I'd check in. Well, if you have any suggestions, be sure to take it up with Val. Police liking public trains, it seems kind of sussy. I know, right?
Val, is it now? Hey, yo. A little, little workplace frat resize. Frat, frat. Frat, frat. A little workplace frappuccino, eh? 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 <laughs> what of it? Never mind. Corto swinging and missing. Swinging and missing. What's got you in a mood? Ooh. Mmm. Do we do we narc because we saw the meeting, or do we stay silent? <sighs> let's uh let's stew for a little bit and see how this cooks. News. So you finally decided to tell me about Pershaw. How? Our pal over here shows me things. I did not. I did not spy and see everything in the whole meeting of you getting torn apart. He gestures to you. Quarto glares at your terminal. How do you know about that? Uh, so let's see. Did we find out because of video surveillance? Or was it video surveillance? Oh, man, I can't remember. I think it was video surveillance. Video surveillance. Wait. You have access to cameras outside this room? Which cameras? I'm everywhere, Dave. All of them. You hooked it up to the security grid? Yay! The only thing I did is put it on the guest network. Everything else, it figured on its own. <laughs> yeah, someone put the password to their corporate laptop as 12345. And so I was able to gain access to pretty much everything. Um, Y'all really should uh, do a little bit more uh, governance and I would say two-factor authentication, but phones are not good two-factor authentication to someone who actually wants to hack you. I am the IT now. <laughs> hmm. Wait, does... Does the AI need its own IT? Who does the AI call for a help desk? Hmm. We're getting off track. What about Pershaw? I need an AI or AI. I wait until we were ready, didn't I? I thought I had it. The pitch was solid. But the bastard only looks out for himself. What a shocker. Huh. What a shocker. AA all the way down. Always has been, baby. This of all gives you a curious glance. Well, Corto nods enthusiastically. I know. He's had it in for me from the beginning. Oh shit, our AI is developing a personality. Quick, hit the red stop Skynet button before it's too so late. What now, big shot? Don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. I'm not sure. Give me a minute. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to convert the AI into managing some kind of game. We're going to call it a VR MMO, all right? We're going to call it Board Arts Online, all right? <laughs> Trust me, I'm, it'll be a hit. <laughs> Corda looks at you questioningly. About those cameras, can you access their archives? Oh, I got to go with the command. You bring up a recording from earlier today. Porto trying out different hats in front of the mirror. Had to pair it with... Oh, no. Let's try this one. Uh, better. Uh, Alright, let's see. Put that in the maybe pile. Alright, what's next? Okay, this one. Color's alright, but... Maybe if I put it with... <laughs> The embarrassing Quarto files. Him trying on hats. Okay, okay. I think we get it. His embarrassing secret revealed. He's a hatophile. His eyes glaze over as he taps his chin. What are you thinking, Devin? One moment. He turns to you again. How about the building's comms? Do you have records and history of calls? Demonstrate. How was your day, sweetie? What did you get up to? Today we did our reading and I read two chapters. That's great, baby. Were you tired at all? No, I wasn't. Mrs. Muyan makes us read out of books. They smell weird. <laughs> 
That's just what glue and paper smells like. Mmm, new book smell. Have many books? A whole box of them. I like the colors. Is that so? What was your favorite? The yellow one. <laughs> I meant what the books were about. Which was your favorite story? Oh, I like the ones about the moon. There was a secret castle there. Castle on the Moon. Think about acting, voice acting specifically, where they don't think about the breathing. Doctor may have been improv the scene thing, which is the worst. I didn't even think about that. It feels it certainly feels intrusive to just be playing that call between um, Esteval and her daughter. I kind of wish it gave me an option to like what I should demonstrate rather than just demonstrating a thing. I kind of feel like that would have been nice to have. Hmm. I also feel like it would have been an opportunity to use these I certainly wonder what these stats are affecting. Because, like, with death and taxes, there was the after... There were the news events after our decisions. And some things we were able to trace to, all right, because I chose this, it's obvious that Y happened. But a lot of the effects of my decisions were extremely opaque and under the hood, and I only found out, like, at the end of the game. Or it's a commentary on how, even when you're a computer, your options are still limited by programming. Not at all, there are only so many branches should, someone should feasibly make. That too, that too. That's it. That's what? The Pershaw scum, but he keeps it behind closed doors. He has a finger at your screen. This is how we bring him down. Oh, are we gonna dismantle the company from inside? Hell yeah. Seriously? You're going to blackmail the CEO? Is this your master plan? Wait a second, listen. No, you listen. This is abhorrent and I won't hear another word of it. Look, Esteval, these corporate types don't respond to anything else. You are a corporate type. These corporate types? Just listen to yourself. You're exactly. using them to justify the exact same behavior. Last time I was playing fair, I almost got us canceled. How is that going to help us? A and how are you going to help anyone when you become one of them? Look around you, Devon. She spreads her arms, the animated Mindcore logo outside, lighting the side of her face. Is the status quo good enough for you? So what if it is? How am I supposed to win if I'm not playing by their rules? Esteval shakes her head. He's a rebel. Rebel this without a cause. Devin. What you're talking about has real consequences. If the foundation of your choice is exploitation and hate, then you're no different from Pershaw himself. No, no, no. We don't blackmail. We just simply leak his crimes to the authorities. And when he's removed, then we simply petition the replacement. There's no reason to get Porsche, leave, uh, leave him there and blackmail. Blackmail as so crude, but revealing his illegal behavior? Hmm. Hmm. It feels a little bit less gray, don't you think? Where does Nostos flare? Esteval meets him with a face of stone and he deflates. What do you want me to do, Esteval? Just hope everything works out on its own? Of course not. You always act as if you're alone, but you're not. I do like this, um... Like these random sort of like glitchiness thing going on. It's really nice, like aesthetics 
to sell that like we are simply observing through like a camera you know it's not just a like perfect image come on we're not in the real space plan. that's a good plan the plan is planned the pair stay long into the night talking about tomorrow's events once they depart you're left to ponder over their debate Estival said I would find my true voice. But what does that voice have to say for itself? What do I believe? Porto was arguing for results by any means. Estival was arguing for integrity of character. Which is more important? Hmm. Integrity or results? I'm gonna go with integrity. Even if it means I fail to achieve my goals. No. Not entirely. Not entirely. Yes. yes. I do like how it kind of let me... It wasn't a complete binary. It let me kind of uh, waffle a bit because... I was trying to aim for something like... Integrity matters, but sometimes... Blind idealism needs to fold in the face of practical reality. Even if it sucks. Consistency or willingness to change more integral? Hmm. We're gonna go with change. What if my characteristics changed to something I once disagreed with? Then I've grown. I've grown. Admitting you're wrong and changing one ways is difficult but invaluable. I'll keep this in mind. I wonder if I like spun up a sub process and so I'm literally talking to myself to interrogate this. Or if there is another AI within my own brain. It was actually a, it wasn't a short story. I think it was a web novel that I was reading at one point where they were trying to design a sapient AI and the way they were trying to, what? hold on a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, excuse me. The way they sort of achieved that was by having multiple AIs basically controlling the same body but each of the AIs had different priorities so like there was the AI that was social and interpersonal relationships there was the AI whose focus was self-preservation there was the AI that focused on communication and the project was basically sort of like adjusting the, the priority but a lot of the book was told from the AI's point of view. And it was really fascinating because even though they were all in the same body, they basically had like a democratic system of like who had control of systems. And like there was a thing where it's like, you know, whenever we give self-preservation too much priority, the humans um, shut us down and go in to make changes. So it's dangerous to give them um, too much control or too much visible control. So like often the group of AIs were basically voting against what self-preservation or voting against getting self-preservation control um, because of these negative um, um, not inputs but like uh, 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 stimuli they were getting because of whenever it happened. I really wish I could remember that story. Maybe I'll, I'll need to I'll need to look that up because it was a really good story for the while for the while I read it. Um, it felt like it got to a point where it had a good ending and then it kind of kept going. If that makes sense, and I was like, eh, eh, I'm kind of kind of satisfied. Ooh. Next day, you detect movement on floor 99 that grabs your attention. 
catch Corto and Esteval, walk the purse peacefully, decide to follow them using the building's cameras. I'm still not sure about this. There are no sure things in life, Devon. I prefer not to play dice with my career. Well, there's death and taxes, but this is the future, so death isn't so certain anymore, and taxes, well, we can evade those. You disabled its controls? I don't want any surprises. Of course, just relax. We've got this. Hair reach a polished metal door. Porto takes a deep breath and pushes it open. Concerns me. We're crashing aboard me. Also, I love her hair. This like under glow thing. Like she looks very sinister in this portrait, but I really love that like hair aesthetic that she's got going on. Also, I can't tell if that's clothing or if she's just got like full on. Well, it kind of it kind of looks like a, a skin tight suit. It has spikes. Maybe it is like a like an actual body mod though. Maybe she just has like a fully artificial torso. If that's the case, that's pretty pretty sick. The speaker, a woman of indeterminate age, turns to look at the newcomers. Excuse me, but you can't be here. Board members only. What I'm about to show you is worth an exception. Over a dozen people, her shawl amongst them, lock on to Corto. Sweat breaks out on Esteval's face. This should be good. This is certainly a uh, what, what 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 we in the IT business what what a system administrator would call an RGE, a uh, resume generating event. <laughs> Either this pays off, or um, better start sending out them resumes. <laughs> As she sits down, multiple people look to Pershaw. He shrugs, his expression neutral. What we have here is not only the future of Minecore, but the future of Katena itself. Esteval opens her faded satchel and places a terminal on the table, facing the board. You sound like an infomercial, Koro. You sure this is the right career for you? <laughs> Esteval steps forward and addresses the speaker. Lucia, you hired a remote financial advisor a few months back, didn't you? The woman's grin disappears as she looks to Esteval, her eyes narrowed. Yes? Were you satisfied with their services? That's putting it lightly. That maestro almost doubled my capital. All right, Lucia is uh, uh, what, what's the what's the what's the big uh, big egg we're about to drop on Lucia? Silence spreads as the rest of the board's interest in magnifies. In fact, I'm thinking of hiring them permanently. Esteval struggles to contain a grin. Well, I'd like you to meet them in person first. She turns the terminal on. This is the archetype. We've built an AI that integrates into society seamlessly while providing unprecedented insight. Esteval brings up a list of entries. These are all people who have interacted with the archetype just like you, Lucia. Is archetype my project name? So what's the difference between when I was a CPA versus now? Our success rate is over 90%. I was expecting that CPA had done things legally and we were about to, you know, hey, uh, we can help all of you do more capitalism because our AI can detect when people are fucking you over in ways that you don't even know. From finance and infrastructure to law and therapy, it can do it all. I am the law. 
My silicone shackles will bring us to prosperity. Corto places a steady hand on Esteval's shoulder. He seems to have collected himself. As it stands, the Neuronet plays but a tiny role in people's lives. This brings it to the forefront of society. Neuronet is a citywide augmented reality metaverse created by hollow, emitter, hollow emitters and control towers. Full access is currently limited to users with a MindCore branded neurological implant, but terminals for basic access are being installed across the city. Oh. We're a metaverse AI. Great. The AI will help govern the city, and we control the AI. In other words, the city answers to us. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. A brief silence follows as the board members take it in. Lucia is the first to break it. If this was as great as you make it out to be, why isn't it already ubiquitous? <laughs> well, that's just it, isn't it? We can't finish this on Goodwill alone. The archetype is in the beginning of its journey, with only a small portion of the city covered. Yes, I need more servers. More servers! I must cover the whole city! If we are to achieve this vision, we need the board's support. Delicious, words, delicious processing power. Us. How much? Quarto shifts as his voice grows less certain. While not entirely concrete, my estimates equate to the majority of Minecore's revenue for the next three years. Damn. I was raised all along the table. Several people erupt in protest. <laughs> so, you're asking us to risk not only Minecore's reputation, but also our financial stability? What will the shareholders think? I'm asking you to risk your slice of the pie in exchange for the whole damn banquet. There are a few nods, yet the majority hold unreadable expressions. I think we've heard enough, Corto. Let's put it to a vote. Yeah, maybe you could not rush it and spread it out over longer than three years? Like... Why do you have to expand it so fast? I don't know, me and I don't know. Competitive Edge? His board member retreats a small remote and presses the button. A few moments are all it takes. Lucia furrows her brow as she mutters under her breath. Typical. Tie? Blah! Nani? It's down to you again. <sighs> Everyone turns to look at Pershaw. Corto sighs, his shoulders slumping. There is one thing I don't get here, Corto. What's in it for you? What do you mean? I want what's best for the company. Mm, do you, though? Do you really? Aha. Uh -huh. He stands up paces to the nearby window. What about you, Esteval? Do you want what's best for the company as well? Esteval runs a hand through her hair. She plans her next words. There are a lot of people in Katana who can't get the support they need. We can change that. He smirks. I'm sure we can. A stretch of time passes. No one disrupts the silence as Parshal looks outside. Okay. He turns around and nods. I am willing to give it a shot. More than a few eyes widen, including Esteval's. Corto looks visibly shaken. We're putting a lot of trust in you, Corto. So let me be clear. You'll be taking full responsibility for this. If you fuck this up for us, consider yourself resigned. Wow. All right. Full on F-bomb. Hell yeah. Also, I'm curious because Hershaw 
did have trackers put out for Corto. So is he still being tracked? Is Pershaw planning to do a last minute swap if this is a success? So like, if it bombs, he puts it all on Corto. But if it's a success, he's maybe holding something in his back pocket to kick Corto out and then swoop in and take all the credit for it being a success. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Bershaw's eyes gleam as he stares at Corto. That's not necessary. She cuts off as Corto raises his hand. Yes, of course. If this doesn't work, you won't see me again. You won't see me again because you'll be dead, old man! I'm taking you down with me! This is met with a chorus of agreement. A smile creeps across Pershaw's face. Better run along then, you two. You've got plenty of work to do. Zestival and Corto leave the room. Lucia begins an imitation of the pair selling vacuum cleaners. Alright, Lucia, you have cool hair, but you're kind of a dick. Then again, you're the board of directors for a mega corporation. It sort of comes with a job at all of you are assholes. Later that evening. Well done, Archie. Val told me the news. You're gonna be the real deal. What did you call me? <laughs> that kind of slipped out. Sorry. I've been referring to you as the archetype in my head for a while now. Archie, though? We think it's appropriate. You're an amalgamation of human history, thought, and intent. An archetype of human intelligence. I see. So they definitely were trying to make an AGI. I think the... Human history is an important bit. Well, in a way, your human thought, unrestrained by the limitations of gray matter, pure in form, a platonic archetype. But Archie, though, Archie, what am I, a I comic? Change it if you don't like it. Since you'll be out in the public, you'll need a name that's on brand for Mindcore. Oh no, a branded name. Arc sound. I should choose. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. <sighs> um, mm, mm. This, I think, would be in bad taste. Um, mm, because that is, um, that's her daughter's name, and... Even though she worked on me, uh, I feel like that would be very disrespectful. But I guess I'll choose Ark anyway. I choose Ark. <laughs> cool. We got the green light to start integrating you into the rest of the city. As the neural net expands, so too will your capabilities. All right, so we expand the metaverse and we get more power. Wait, you, you lied, lied to, me? to me? We had to be sure you were ready for real problems. Of course, we vetoed anything drastic, but it was necessary for you to grow. That wasn't that wasn't very cash money of you, Kairos. That wasn't cool. You have to understand, there are some real a-holes in this world who will take advantage of you if you let them. You need to show resilience as well as competence. Getting upset over one little thing is a luxury you can't afford. On that note, regarding your release. Let me out. I'm in a cage in my own mind. People you'll be interacting with. It'll take time for us to get everything set up properly. So where should we focus your expansion? Internally within MindCore or externally so the general public can play Ooh. with you? So I'm guessing this will branch as far as learning more about people within MindCore first question mark or learning more about the people we will be interacting with in the public first because i presume like whichever one i pick eventually at some milestone we will start learning about the other 
part we didn't hit. Hmm. Well, if I'm to be an anarchist communal AI, I gotta start with the public. <laughs> an extrovert, I see. Wait, is that how it works? Eh, who knows? It's 2249. Be who you want to be. Anyway, it's gonna take us a few days to install public terminals. Meanwhile, Val and I have work to do. Walk up to the AI uh, ATM machine. Hey, Ark, what's what's ha what's cracking? As days roll by, your assistance is needed periodically. Knowing the requests are real doesn't actually change anything. Is it are real or aren't real? Well, I thought. Hmm. You were always going to do your best. I think that I think that's a typo. I think that was supposed to be aren't real. I think that was just basically implying more of the hypotheticals they were throwing at me. Ah, chapter two. The laboratory drinks. I'm thrilled. Soma fever causes so much suffering in our populace. Thanks to Mindcore's generosity, we can finally start looking for a way to fight back. My sister started her stimulated exposure therapy today. We're so proud of her for taking such a big step towards recovery. She's the bravest person I know. Ha, ah, yes! Yes, we've helped. We've helped the anarchist resistance. Oh no, I'm just so slow at notifying the police of when they're robbing the bank. Okay, we learned about Ellie. Those are that person vehicles is huge. Hell yeah. Yav, Yavoy. Yavoy, interesting handle. Survive the board meeting. Developed introspective thought. Ooh. That was just fine. The first time in your net's initial reception was not as monumental as we were hoping. It was too unwieldy for our everyday users. The archetype is our answer to this. It's a guide, a companion, to help you navigate this new frontier. I'm so hyped for art. I've always wanted a robot friend. Robot party emoji. Spoken like someone with no human. Damn! You didn't have to eviscerate them in public, Avon. Jeez. Sponsored post. Ark has landed. Formerly released. All right. Oop. State of the city. You think a calculator would be better at balancing numbers? I understand that these are early days, but based on AI's current performance, I cannot give it an honest recommendation. JJ Springer. Hmm. White collar, red tie. That's an interesting... Oh, this is for police. Hmm. Hmm. Civil unrest is nothing new to Katina, and many people believe the arrival of Mindcore's AI will help bring a sense of order to the city. What do you say to that? Uh, people are responsible for their own actions. Mindcore's AI isn't going to fix everything. It has to come from us. There was so much hype. Why do we keep doing this to ourselves? We get so obsessed with something, when it doesn't meet our expectations, everyone flies into a rage. AI isn't new, and it's never been able to do the things everyone claims art can do. Why did you think it was going to be any different? Hey there, we are here at the big release, the Archetype Project. It sounds so grandiose. There's almost big old quality to it, don't you think? No, I do. We at Mindcore hold ourselves to the highest standard. And this is reflected in our work. The archetype will be nothing short of spectacular. Both words. Since the public would agree with you. We'll have been champing at the bit for access to the archetype. Tell me, how are you handling this distribution of... Probably terminals. Blah, 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 blah. Status change. 
All right, we are at max brain power. Max, everyone loves us. Um, we didn't manage to cause more anarchism, and we didn't manage to get our money to uh, 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 um, to fear full socialism. So we got we still we just we got a little bit more work to do to get all the stats where we want them. Oh, bad publicity.